story from before because Call me daddy <laughs> Ew <laughs> What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be reviewing this foundation launch that is coming up very soon. I believe right now we are set to launch on April 16th. I don't know anything about the launch yet other than the pieces that I've gotten. I want to get this filmed and uploaded for you guys so that I can focus on my pilot training. I'm currently transitioning my career into becoming an airline pilot. So my schedule is kind of going to be really, really hectic. So I wanted to get this filmed and reviewed for you guys as soon as possible. But anyways, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Abby. I'm so happy to have you here. Okay, so as of right now, we have the launch date to be on April 16th, Tuesday at 5 p.m. BST, 6 p.m. CEST, 12 p.m. EST. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am burning up in this jogger set right now, so I wanted to get this done first. As much as I love my floor to ceiling windows, it gets really, really hot in here because of the sun, and even though with the AC, it just doesn't cool down so I'm quite literally burning up. Anyways, I actually just got a measuring tape so I can be as detailed as possible. But I did get a little bit like bigger everywhere around my body. I just got fuller. So I'm currently about 5'6 and I'm about 146 pounds. My bust is still 32B. Unfortunately, I wish it was bigger. My waist right now is actually standing at 27.5 and my um, glutes are at 39 you know what, let me get my thing. I didn't measure my glutes because I thought it's always been the same, but let's see it. <laughs> it is sitting at 41 inches. <laughs> I'm so happy it's grown. But okay, so my waist is at 27.5. My glutes are at 41 inches and my thighs are... Oh, my thighs grew too. Okay, my thickest part of my thighs, which is over here, it's 22.5. Hey guys, it's Editing Abby here. I will be popping in throughout the video because I have forgot to mention a couple things about the products, and I just feel like some of these are crucial things to mention. I just wanted to say, A, I really apologize for the lighting of this video that it was filmed in. I didn't realize how overexposed it was until I sat down and started editing. So next time, I definitely will be editing later in the day when the sun isn't too bright and in your in my face and it won't be washing out the colors. I did get little close-up videos of each of the products so I think that does help a little bit and I'm so so sorry. It's also blurry a little bit. I use a different camera and I will never be using that camera again because I didn't realize how it's a little bit fuzzy so I really appreciate your patience if you do watch this video all the way because I do go really really in depth more than I normally do I feel. And lastly I just wanted to say I would so so appreciate if you guys do use my link as every single sale does count because your girly is currently basically in the student debt so every single sale even if it's a five dollar purchase does really go a long way and i really appreciate every single one of you guys so so much my support link will be in the description below and it'll also be in my instagram bio okay so with that being said back to the review Okay, so starting off with a hoodie, this is just like all of the other oversized hoodies that we've had. So the material of this hoodie is 67% cotton and 33% polyester. It is actually one of the lighter weight hoodies that we've had. So as in, it's fleece lined under, but overall the weight of the hoodie is pretty light. Like the other ones are thicker, even the all day, even without the fleece inside has been, in my opinion, thicker, whereas this one, Overall is very, very light, but it is fleece lined, so I, that's why I am burning up. Okay, so while we're talking about fleece lining, I just need to talk about the actual shedding of the fleece. I highly, highly, highly recommend washing these hoodies and sweatpants before you wear them, especially for a workout, because I wore this fleece hooding before washing to my leg day, and when I took it off because I got too hot, I literally was covered in oil blue colored fleece all over my underarms. So wash it inside out for sure before you wear it for <laughs> Oh, we're good, okay? There's blue fuzz all over you. <laughs> The hoodie is a standard oversized hoodie. I'm wearing a size medium in this, and I would say if it's like all of the other hoodies where I've always been the medium, I've always been gravitating towards the medium size for the extra oversized look. We have a kangaroo pocket, but also we have a hidden zip pocket in here to put your, your credit cards or like passport or whatever you want. The design for this hoodie is a little bit different because the logo is on the side this time instead of the middle. And we do have another logo at the back of the hoodie behind the hood that has the same honor logo. 
logo set and very minimalistic very simple we also have like a loop back stitched logo here that says honor active esc 2020 and it's a tonal color from the actual hoodie so it's very very minimalistic again that you won't be able to see again this is size medium and i would say stick to your normal size if you want an oversized look if you want a little bit baggier of a look i would size up my normal top sizes for honor is a size small but i really like the extra oversized look which is why i am wearing a size medium inside of the kangaroo pocket is also fleece lined. i don't know for sure what colors these hoodies are coming out in so if anything changes i will put it up on the screen for you guys as i edit for right now from what chrissy has posted on her story and all the collection all the pieces that i've gotten in the colorways it's looking like it's coming in this oil blue color gray marl a mushroom brown color as well as plum brown color all right let's move on to the, the foundations joggers I'm gonna cinch this up a little bit to show you guys my pale stomach. So these are the new foundation joggers that I would say is the most comparable to the classic joggers that we've had with the sizing and the material wise. One thing that's a little different about these joggers is the drawstrings are actually on the inside and then you can flip it over to make it a thicker waistband and bring your drawstrings outside. I've seen Chrissy show us on our group chat how she likes to wear it low rise, but I don't really like that look on me personally just because I've got a long torso. So I like it actually high-waisted with the drawstrings inside. The material is the same as the hoodie and it is fleece lined inside as well. We have a two-slip pocket as well as a hidden zip pocket on the side. And the same thing as the hoodie with the logo being minimalistic that says Honor. Two things that are a little bit different from the classic joggers is the, there's two stitchings on the side and I love this look for the straight leg joggers that you will see. I think it's a cute little extra detail that they added. The waistband is actually very similar to the all the varsity joggers if you guys remember. Um, it's an elasticated waistband that has a drawstring on the inside and just like the all day varsity joggers these do not shrink. I have washed them. I have measured them before and after. They actually haven't shrank at all. Chrissy had mentioned that in our group chat and I was kind of iffy. I wanted to double check for myself for you guys and it actually didn't shrink at all. The cuffs of these joggers are also elasticated so so it is giving that like scrunched look. I'm wearing these in a size small long. I actually have them in the extra small long as well. The extra small just is a little bit tighter and more fitted around my legs and I just don't love that look on me. I feel like I could even go up to a medium personally. Um, I really like the baggy look and I've just got like muscular thighs. Yes, yeah, so these joggers are also coming in the oil blue, light gray marl, plum brown, black, and mushroom brown. All right, so these straight leg joggers I'm wearing currently in a size small and I just got them in the mail because I had an extra small for a while. Straight leg joggers are my favorite things to lounge on, okay? So I've been wanting more straight leg joggers ever since we came out with it and I actually like these better than the original ones because they don't shrink. I did a whole wash test. I did it with an extra small. The inseam from the crotch all the way down to the length is 30.5 inches and after the wash it was still 30.5 inches. Right now I'm wearing a size small so it is a little bit longer on me so I feel like I could definitely go for a regular length. In the original straight leg jogger that we got, if you guys remember, it does shrink. I think it shrank by like a a good inch an inch and a half almost so regular length it was like perfect after the wash whereas now this one in the size long I definitely feel like I should have gotten the regular length because it's not gonna be shrinking whatsoever the inseam for this one on the size small is a 31.5 inch so it's a one inch longer than the size extra small and mind you I'm five six I could almost be even like five six and a half up until you're my height I would say get a regular length and anyone below like five four I would get like a short leg. I really want to do more reviews throughout this year. That's my goal with Honor as I used to do because I feel like I really missed out on the measurement side. The all day collections that we've had, the cargo joggers that we had, I didn't realize when I first did the review 
Oh my god, I just found my AirPods. It's under my oven. <laughs> but when I first did a cargo review on YouTube, I never talked about any shrinkage because that just wasn't like something that was in my head. And I realized after like several weeks of washing them, it definitely does shrink a lot. Whereas this one, I can confidently say they don't shrink. And if they do, it'll be so little that you won't even notice it. Anyway, so now moving on to the design of the joggers. I love, again, the two stitchings that we have here. I just think that's a little extra nice touch that they added to it. So we do have a stitch that goes all the way from the waist all the way down to your feet. Again, same thing as the joggers. We have the slip pockets as well as the zip pockets on the side. We got a very minimalistic logo that is two-toned. It looks like the plum brown the color that I'm wearing. This is a mushroom brown I'm wearing. Not what I expected when I saw the name mushroom brown. I really thought it was gonna be another shade of a darker brown. The same deal as the joggers where the waistband is elasticated and, and the drawstrings are inside. So these are just like the all-day varsity joggers waistband where it's like a nice like chunk one. So I am a size small long in these and I would 100% stick to my size small. With the joggers, the only reason why I said I could even size up to a medium is because I like a baggier look, whereas this, I love the way this fits me. The straight leg joggers are coming in the same colorways as regular joggers, which are the light gray, marl, oil blue, mushroom brown, plum brown, and black. Now, let's move on to the Mellow Soft. This might seem to you right now like the Mellow Soft that we had before with a mock neck, but it's actually Mellow Rib, Mellow Soft Rib, Mellow Rib Soft, I'm not sure. I also did a little measurement. The I think it's because it's rib that it's a little bit shorter in length compared to the other Mellow Soft that we've come out with. I definitely think it is because it's a little bit thicker and a little bit tighter. So this is a size small on me, and I was talking to Tracy, and she said I could even size down to an extra small with a normal Mellow Soft, and I was like, hmm. I don't like anything being too tight on my arms just because I've got nice big triceps. But with this one, I don't know. I feel like there's still a little extra material. So maybe I could size down to an extra small. So I did ask for extra smalls that are coming in. So it won't be in this review, but it will be on my story on Instagram. So please go follow up there at least the day before. It'll be on my highlight in my Instagram to show you the extra small compared to the size small. Now, the material is so soft. And even though it's ribbed, it's so stretchy. So I don't know what magic this is but it's super, super uber stretchy. We've got the same detail stitching that we've always had for Mellow Soft. The only thing that's really different is again, the measurement from the neck to the waist. I will be popping it up on the screen for you. I can't remember the number at the top of my head. It's I think like an inch shorter. That's something to keep in mind for the cropped ones that you'll see later on. Okay, so with the Mellow Softs, I will definitely say now that I've worn it for several times, the stretch of it, because it's so stretchy, I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. The the fact that it's one inch shorter comparatively from rib to normal mellow soft when i lay them on top of each other i did line them up from the shoulder instead of the neckline because this is a normal neckline whereas the rib is a mock neckline so pairing them from the shoulder all the way down to the bottom of the hem it's a one inch difference between the rib and this and i stand by what i said about the fact that i think it genuinely is because it's a thicker material and it's a rib material that it, it's technically one inch shorter but when you have it on because it's so stretchy it really doesn't feel like it's shorter or smaller i want to talk about the mock neck listen i don't normally like turtlenecks of any kind mock necks of any kind because i don't like anything around my neck i feel like i just feel like i'm being suffocated in the beginning i was going like this a lot and holding it like this just because i'm not used to having something around my neck but you know what i actually wore one of the mellow soft tank to dinner with phil and actually completely forgot about the mock neck it's so stretchy that if you're not thinking about it you won't notice it i think though in the beginning i was fussing with it a lot because I just wasn't used to anything around my neck. Honestly, after wearing it like four or five days now, I actually don't mind it. I really like it a lot. I think because it's ribbed, it's better to have a mock neck. It seems like the Mellow Soft is coming in four colorways. The black, plum brown, which is the one I'm wearing, oil blue, and mushroom brown. All right, girlies, let's move on to the next pieces. Okay, so before we move on from Mellow Soft, I wanted to show you guys the tank as well as show you guys the cropped of the tank. I didn't think I was gonna like the tank at all because I'm just not a tank person. When's the last time you guys have ever seen me in a tank? I'm asking my Instagram followers because I normally never wear a tank. I am not gonna lie, I absolutely love this tank. Especially, not for a workout, I honestly wouldn't personally wear the rib mellow soft to the gym just because it feels so nice i would wear this out to dinner with family i wore one of the tanks out to dinner with phil i put a blazer over it with a pair of jeans and heels 
I was all set. I do like a full length better than the mid length. My torso is definitely long. So it kind of sits like right above the belly button and I just don't know how to work fashion around this midsection. So I've seen Chrissy wear it like this and she looked phenomenal in it. Um, I just don't know if I like it like this to be honest. But just like the normal Mellow Soft, we have a scoop stitch right here that goes down and around into the front that dips to the front. Again, just like the long sleeve that I was wearing, it's a mock neck and the measurement from here to here, I will put it up again on the screen next to me. I did wash the brown one once and I didn't see any shrinkage. What I don't like about certain tanks is if it cuts too soon and then like my skin folds out. The reason why I love this tank is because of how wide it is. It literally cuts off exactly at the sleeve and I can show off my shoulders, you know? But yeah, so this is the back of Nice and Simple. And just like the other Mellow Soft that we've launched previously, we have a the logo on the right-hand side that's very small and minimalistic. All right, so I'm gonna do one more set of joggers to show you guys different types of hoods that we are coming out with, and then we're gonna move on. All right, so moving on to the foundation crop sweatshirt. I actually really like this top to work out with. Lounging, not so much. I like to cover everything up when I'm lounging. So with this crop top, I'm wearing a size medium because all of my lounge were sent in a medium top because that's what I said I preferred. But I'm not gonna lie, it is, even though it's a little bit big, medium is not as big as I thought it would be. But I still prefer small with this crop just because we do have this detailed cinch that's really massive here if you guys can see you see how it's not cinching around me so I do have to fold it this way so I will say with this stick to your normal size no need to size up whatsoever just like the other hoodie that I've shown you guys we have the same logo that says honor on the left hand side this time not in the middle I love the back of this sweatshirt I love the stitching detail that we have on the back that's going around right here it's just a nice little extra detail just like on the foundation joggers where we have a nice detail going on the side. It's just like the other hoodie, we have a fleece lining in here, but it is very, very lightweight. So this is also coming out in five colors, just like the other foundation lounge collection, which is a plum brown that I'm wearing, oil blue, mushroom brown, black, and light gray marl. Now, let's move on to the effortless shorts real quick. Now that I've got this on, I do want to review it real quick. It's just like any other effortless that we've launched. I got the shorts in size smalls this time. For shorts, I got a size small. Leggings, I got an extra small. These fit me perfectly, and I'm actually glad these one at least were in a size small because of the color. I will say it's definitely a lot more in the sheer end than like squat proof end. This color specifically is just not the color tone for me. I, and this is great to have so many different colorways for different body types and skin tones and all of that. I think girls who are like darker than me would be better. I had this on the first time, felt that I was naked just because the undertone is the same undertone as me, which is like a cooler undertone. And for the girlies who are new to Honor, we do have a nice butt scrunch in the back. That's one of my favorite things about Honor effortless legging is the butt scrunch and the bum side detail that we have. She did it so that we have a stitching detail on 360 of the shorts. So there's like a detail here on the side of the logo and then there's a detail that starts from the front of the leggings or a short and goes all the way around to the back. And then we have a scrunch bum detail. These are the regular shorts length. We don't have cycling and I'm so sad. I really want cycling shorts to be back, but you guys need to buy them, you know? We just have so much of cycling shorts in stock and I will always be spokesperson for cycling shorts. But these feel like the 12 Days of Gains campaign effortless shorts. It's not like the original effortless that we've had before the knitted logos. I know you guys really liked those original effortless, but I actually prefer the newer effortless that we've had. And it's not as tight as the birthday collection. That was the only time the effortless was kind of iffy for me that I realized. But yes, yeah, so this fits like 12 days again. They're very stretchy, molds to your skin. But yes, so size small. And these are coming in mushroom brown, plum brown, and oil blue. All right, so as you guys can see, the square neck long sleeve effortless top is making a comeback for this launch. I'm wearing a size small and I would say it's a perfect fit. If you're like in between sizes, I would definitely size up. It's just like the leggings where it's compressive everywhere and molds to your body. We've got a nice definition of stitching that goes from your underarms and like wraps around to the front to kind of like give that illusion of a, of like an hourglass shape because the stitching 
thing for the leggings start here and goes out. So as you can see, it kind of meets like that. You see what I'm saying? Obviously, we have a square neck that goes down here. The bra will show. I will show you guys this bra very soon. Pop is not padded, so if you don't like a nip show of any kind, I would definitely wear a bra underneath. It's not like compressive enough that your bra, like your boobs would be secure here. Just like before, we do have a nice knitted logo on the left side of the top. This top is quite cropped compared to all of the other honor tops that we have. Even compared to the effortless long sleeve originally that we had, it's a more cropped than that one. I've done a comparison in my 12 days of campaign video on the YouTube, so if you guys wanna go check that out, I highly recommend for the length comparison. But this ends exactly where the sports bra ends. So it is a very, very cropped look. It's perfect for girlies who have a shorter torso that wants a little bit more skin to show in between their top and leg. And the sleeves of the top is actually perfect. It's not too short and it's not too long I've done the comparison on the sleeves as well for the effortless crop top the original one on the 12 days of campaign one For this top I'm wearing a size small and I believe this will be coming in plum brown mushroom brown oil blue And I think that's it Okay, so this is a new layered sports bra. It's the Effortless Collection. First layer of the sports bra is actually exactly like the Effortless sports bra that we had with a scrunch. I put it on top of each other, even the measurements are exactly the same. And I never really wear that Effortless sports bra because as you guys can see, it ends right here. So that little extra like fabric that we have behind is what's like perfect for me because it covers that little skin. Whereas the effortless, it doesn't cover that and I'm constantly like adjusting. Now the under layer of the sports bra is almost the exact measurement and style as the everyday sports bra that we have. So it's almost like the everyday sports bra and the effortless sports bra layered on top of each other in the seamless collection. It's also one of the more compressive, more supportive sports bra that we have, I will say. And I say this because I don't have a lot of titties here as you guys can see and then when I first put it on I was like whoa it is so supportive but not to the point where it's so uncomfortable the unified sports bra that I've reviewed back for the unified collection I've mentioned in there that it felt so heavy on my traps and I realized if I use that third strap on the unified it actually takes that weight off on the trap but if I've realized the more I wear that unified sports bra if I just have the halter version of it I have to take it off as soon as I'm done with the workout it is just so tight on my traps this one I was afraid it was gonna be the same I did wear it all day for my study session for my pilot training as well as like I wore it to the gym It does like get a little heavy after five six hours But it's actually pretty comfortable in my opinion with how supportive this is. There's a double strap I think that's what's making it so supportive now the back of the sports bra is very interesting We've got a layered crisscross racer back style with a metal ring in the middle that meets it and it's actually super comfortable. I was afraid that the ring was gonna be bothering me when I was hip thrusting. Did not notice, I actually forgot I even had it on. It was so comfortable. I'm wearing this sports bra in a size small and I definitely wouldn't size up or down. I would say stick to your true size. I'm a, again, 32B and I've measured my underbust with Tracy <laughs> and she is a 27 and a quarter on like her underbust right here. Yeah, I'm a 29 on my underbust. Maybe four inches of boobage where she's got literally so much more inches boobage coming in plum brown that I'm wearing oil blue and mushroom brown I completely forgot to talk about the bandeau and the everyday Chris silver bralette that are coming out because they've already launched before but they are redropping so I'm gonna talk about them really quickly because I did film a close-up of both of the items the bandeau bra is such a nice like stylish bra that I like to wear here and there it has a nice inner like rubber grippy thing on the inner side of the bra so that it doesn't slip when you're doing the workout I will say though it still does move a little bit these are definitely more for the smaller chested girlies if you are a bigger chested girl I definitely wouldn't do cardio or anything high impact with it on I definitely like to keep my straps on and there's so many different ways to wear the straps I think there's like four or five different ways and I show them three different ways here you can actually just wear it as a band though without any of the straps you can wear it as a normal spaghetti strap and then the third one is my favorite way to wear with both straps on one of the side this is definitely a low impact bra so even for the small chested girlies just be a little mindful when you're doing cardio so next is the everyday crossover bralette this is 
is one of my absolute favorite bras. I've talked about this during Black Friday sales. Both of these bras I've actually talked about for Black Friday sales, so you can actually go back and watch if you want a little bit more in depth. This is definitely more on the light support bra as well. I love the two dual straps on each side and how they criss over in the back. It's a great bra to wear for an upper body workout. The criss over bralette is one of my favorite because it has like a scoop neck, which is kind of like a square neck. This bra is not tight on your straps whatsoever so it is definitely one of my go-to bras for both the bras they're coming in the oil blue color plum brown as well as the mushroom brown and i'm wearing a size small in both i'm going to talk about the effortless leggings very very quickly just because i've reviewed this product so many times i've got multiple reviews like black friday as well as 12 days of gains so if you guys have any questions please go check that video out or you can also message me on instagram this fits me like the 12 days of gains campaign leggings not like the birthday collection where that was a little bit too compressive the fabric was a little weird with that one where it was a little bit too compressive so i'm wearing this in the extra small it is a little bit tighter on my waistband now that i am getting a little bit like fuller everywhere but honestly like it doesn't bother me to the point where I feel like I need to size up when it comes to leggings yet. Um, but I am wearing them in a size extra small long. I need to get them in the long length because the regular length is more of a 7 8 length on me and it cuts off like a little bit high on my ankle. So this is also coming in the plum brown, oil blue, and mushroom brown. Okay, so the last piece I'm gonna be reviewing is the Zip Through Hoodie. I feel like the foundation loungewear is very similar to classic loungewear. Literally, I was looking at the composition of the product. Again, this is 67% cotton and 33% polyester. Classic is 65% cotton and 35% polyester. It is very, very similar. And if you guys have classic lounge, you guys know that they don't shrink in the wash. Classic also had an oversized zip hoodie. I got it in the size large at that but medium is definitely a fit that I prefer more it's just perfectly like a little more than a just a little oversized look you know so this is how the size medium fits me it's very very lightweight just like I've mentioned before with the other foundation top we do have fleece lining and just like the other ones we do have a logo on the left hand side I prefer to wear it like this with a one shoulder out also so that I'm not like dying during the workout but I still want to be a little bit fashionable we've got two drawstrings just like this joggers we have the honor logo on the metal itself the zip is actually so smooth we've got a slip pocket on the side as well as the hidden pocket that we have with the other loungewear collection and just like the sweatshirt that i showed you guys the hoodie has a nice detail on the back of it can't even see it it's right here dumbos oh, i'm gonna have sound on <laughs> i apologize not so dumbos <laughs> Just like the oversized hoodie that I showed you guys in the oil blue where we had that little like stitching of the Honor Active logo, we have it here too, very minimalistic that you can't really see. The bottom of the hoodie is ribbed just like the cuff of the hoodie and it's elasticated and it's a little bit more fitted as you guys can see. It kind of cinches down onto your waist but I like to fold it a little bit. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys the color comparisons on the top of the screens for the browns, for the plum brown. mushroom brown and the oil blue We do have two other pieces that are coming that is not with the active wear or lounge wear Okay, you guys, I got a model for us. Also, I'm buying him an honor sweatshirt because he only has something like this. Okay, so we have a dad hat coming. It's a little upgrade from before because... Call me daddy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oof, that hurt to say. Wait, I need to show them the front though. I see it sideways. Okay, you're a horrible model for this. We have a honor logo that is outlined in white, but it's black text. So I really like this upgrade of the logo. I will say though, I wish the dad hat was a a little bit longer if turn, turn your head that way the on the hat. side because I have a quite big head so I like my hats a little long on the side instead of shorter so that's my only little critique can you do this and then just a little to the Ew, side. no don't wear it like that <laughs> yeah actually you know I don't know why I like this look on you 
You're good now. Bye. Okay, so the next thing that's coming is this cute little tote bag. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm so glad I got my hands on it. It's actually pretty roomy. I would say this is roomy for like a cute little date day with your friends or like bring your laptop to a coffee shop. I don't know. With the tote bag though, this is a perfect size because if I was to wear this to a flight school, I don't want it bigger where it's gonna be like me carrying it like this. You know, I like a backpack for something that's school-like. This is like, like a puffer coat material. It's very, very like cute and nice. But you've got a water pocket that stretches out and on the side as well, this one actually cinches all the way out. We've got two handles, one to wear like this and one to put it over your shoulder. Super cute. We've got two logos, one in the front that has a slip pocket and one in the back that just says honor without the slip pocket. All right, so inside we do have a giant slip pocket. It's for your iPad or your laptop. And then we've got on the other side a zip pocket and a slip pocket with a the o-ring it's a really cute decent size bag honestly and the last thing that's coming out are the socks this is a little bit thicker of a material than the original socks that we've been coming out with you know you can never go wrong with any honor white socks so that is all for the review the try on haul and i hope that was really helpful for you guys if i forgot something by any chance please do leave them in the comment section below you can also personally dm me on instagram i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I just wanted to remind you guys please 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 use my link as it supports me so so much I was so appreciative but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time bye